Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and another beer review. Pinkus Muller, Mueller, a brewery out of Munster, Germany. It is their Hefeweizen. For those who don't know, and I can't imagine there's very many of you, uh, Americans tend to say Hefeweizen, but it's technically Hefeweizen, which means yeast wheat. According to the label and the website, it's the world's first organic brewery founded in 1816. Here's the bottle that I'm sure most people have seen before. This beer's been out a long time. A couple of guys over a mash tun or something or another. The back of the bottle says made from wheat and barley for a smooth body and inviting clean flavor. Appetizing and refreshing. That's pretty much it. The yellow section, that's what I read. There's real, really not much there. This beer is available all year round. It was under $4. They're all a combination of generally Pilsner malt and wheat. Now the percentages vary 50-50 or 70-30 or 60-40. Those give flavors of cracker, bread, grain, biscuit, dough. Wheat will give sometimes a wheat flavor, naturally, and some sweetness. Another malt that's sometimes used in Hefeweizen, Munich, to give it a little bit of maltiness, and occasionally they'll use something else like the Carapils. Hops are almost always um, a noble hop, which could be like a Hollatower, a Tettinger, a Spall, a Saws, something like that. The hops give flavors of earthy, maybe herbal, some people get fruity, floral. These are all ales. I've never seen a Hefeweizen that's a lager. Hefeweizens are known for their simplicity and banana clove aroma and flavor, which comes from the yeast. Body style for this should be probably medium. 5.1% alcohol. I don't know the IBUs. My guess would be under 30, maybe even under 20. Color is typically golden. It could be a little bit deeper than that. Almost always cloudy. Banana flavor, maybe a little bit of clove, which is the most common trait. That is from the yeast. Sweet, maybe some malty. Some people get the hop characteristics, you know, like the earthy, herbal, floral. Intensity of the banana flavor from the yeast really depends on the temperature they ferment at. I've had some that are so light you can barely tell it's there, and I've had others that are so overpowering. It's like drinking a banana. Medium golden color. It is barely even hazy. That surprises me. Most Hefeweizens are far more cloudy. You can see my fingers through here, right? They're not crystal clear, but most Hefeweizens, you wouldn't even be able to see my fingers. Head is paper thin. In fact, it's disappeared by now. There's no sediment that you can see in here, nothing floating. You can see the bubbles there. It's lightly carbonated. I was expecting a little bit more than that. Tiny bit of sweetness. After drawing it in multiple times, I'm now getting the slightest vague hint of banana. I don't get any earthy or herbal, floral, fruity. A little bit pulls up my tongue, a little bit opens up on the roof of my mouth. It's divided equally. There is a little bit of citrus in there and some banana just teases of it. It's incredibly faint. This is probably one of the most faint banana clove hefeweizens I've ever had. This is light body. Sweet, light banana is splashing back and forth. They clearly fermented it at a low temperature because the flavors are so faint and there's just really no body. There's not much mouthfeel to it. Citrus is still there a little bit. It's not tangy. It's not hoppy at all. There's no hop character. It doesn't even stick around. As soon as I drink it, the flavors splash around a little bit, give me a little bit of a tease, and then it's kind of vanish. There's a little bit of residual sweetness, but that's kind of bad. I'm not getting bread or biscuit grain cracker. I'm not getting any earthy herbal out of the mouthfeel or the, uh, the flavors. No candy notes, no toasted. The mouthfeel, 
is very thin and it is watery. Simple recipe. There's very little character or life in this beer. The flavors are going to pool up on my tongue. There's a little bit in the roof of my mouth. It's still divided pretty equal. I'm still getting that soft, faint, teasing banana sweetness splashing back and forth on my tongue. A little bit of citrus and tanginess in there. It tastes a little closer to medium body. Still not hoppy. There's still no bread, biscuit, cracker, dough, toasted, earthy, herbal, nothing else I thought I might get out of it. There's a little bit of that tartness. I don't know if that's some sign of an infection or what it is. It still tastes thin, watery, just evaporates. There is tartness in this beer. It could be astringency, sometimes called mouth puckering. Generally, it's just from over sparging. There is something wrong with this. Just doesn't taste right at all. Aside from that tartness, it is definitely out of place. I don't taste anything else that's nasty about it. I don't get any buttery diacetyl, no chemical flavors, rotten fruit, the ball's not skunked. Would I buy this again? No, I would not. It doesn't taste like a regular German Hefeweizen. The flavors are incredibly light. It's too subtle. There's just no life here. I'm not pleased with it. Would I recommend it? No, I would not. I think this one's far below average. In fact, it may be the worst one I've had. The flavors are too subtle. They're almost non-existent. It lacks character depth. That off flavor I'm describing, I just, I'm not impressed with it at all. Pinkus Muller Hefewitzen out of Münster, Germany. It's their organic Hefewitzen. If you have any comments, feedback, want to talk about beer, questions, whatever, Send them my way, I like to read them. That's all for this review, folks. Prost. So they're going to be very hard to see. No, no, I already said cloudy. The, um, oh shit, where'd that thing go? Well, it's not mine. Nah, she needs that do now. That's stupid. Whoa, shit. <clears throat> Off flavors. Actually, let's go back and see where the hell they are.